Está claro que este juicio es uno de los más mediáticos y controversiales actualmente. La batalla legal gira en torno a una demanda por 50 millones que Johnny Depp presentó contra Amber por una difamación. Ella, por su parte, presentó una contrademanda de 100 millones. Sí, momentos como este se vivieron en el juicio, es por ello que ahora te presentaré los momentos más impactantes del juicio de este reciente caso. Número 10 Con esta declaración de Johnny Depp entenderemos mejor el por qué inició todo este controversial juicio. Uh, Miss Heard made uh, some quite heinous and um, uh, disturbing, uh, brought these disturbing criminal um, acts um, against uh, me that uh, that were not based in any species of truth. Um, It was, a, it was a complete shock uh, that it would, it, it just didn't need to go in that direction um, as nothing, nothing of the kind had ever happened, though it, it, the relationship, um, there were arguments and um, things of that nature but never did I myself reach the point of um, uh, striking Miss Heard in any way nor have I ever struck uh, um, any woman um, in my life. Número 9 en este clip, Johnny Depp habla sobre la vez que vio heces en su cama tras pelear con Amber. It was a, it was a, it was a photograph of the bed, our bed, um, and on my side of the bed was human fecal matter. Número 8 La batalla legal entre Johnny y Amber no deja de generar polémica. Más aún, tras la declaración de algunos psicólogos que afirman que la actriz fue diagnosticada con trastorno límite de la personalidad. Um, and, and I kind of felt, I walked around for a few days like I had butterflies under my skin. And then my, he brought my dad out to London with my best friends. And my dad told me, you know, uh, Johnny has asked me permission for your hand in marriage your hand in marriage and, and I'm, I felt like the luckiest woman in the world. Luego de ver esto me gustaría saber tu opinión. No dudes dejar un comentario aquí abajo. Número 7 En este clip Johnny responde algunas preguntas que se le hace sobre la relación con sustancias alucinógenas. And um, one of one of your good friends that you've taken drugs with before is Marilyn Manson, right? Um, yes, we've taken, uh, 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 we've drank together. Uh, we've we've uh, we've had cocaine together maybe a couple of times. Um, pills, right? With Marilyn Manson. Um, I once gave uh, Marilyn Manson a pill uh, so that he would s stop talking so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. Número 6 En este puesto número 6 tenemos un momento un tanto extraño. Podemos ver lo rápido que cambia la expresión de Amber, 
¿Acaso está actuando? Y es que a cualquiera le sorprende este cambio de personalidad en menos de dos segundos. ¿Tú qué opinas? Número 5 A lo largo de los días de testimonios, Amber inició el suyo con una declaración que la hizo llorar. Mientras ocurría eso, el actor Johnny no se mostraba sorprendido, solo se reía por ratos. Veamos. I felt like he recognized me and I recognized him and there was just something there that that is the love of my life. And he was. He was, but he was also this other thing. He was also this other thing. And that other thing was awful awful thing that would come out and take over and it was you couldn't see the Johnny I loved underneath it it was this other thing and no one told him no one was honest with him no one you know he'd pass out in his own vomit he'd lose control of his body his you know he'd lose control and everyone would clean up after him i cleaned up after him i mean this man lost control of his bowels and i cleaned up after him his, his, his security cleaned up after him changed his pants in front of me he would pass out his own sick you know and then he'd walk around saying he didn't have a problem until he did Until he couldn't support it anymore and he'd get clean and he'd get sober and then he was this thing again. This thing that made me feel so loved, that made me feel like... Número 4 Estaba a punto de comenzar un día más de declaraciones para el juicio. Sin embargo, a la actriz se le captó en una situación bastante rara. Y es que al momento de soplarse se nota esto. ¿Acaso trató de disimular para inhalar y no precisamente harina? Bueno, ustedes me entienden. Me gustaría mucho que dejen comentarios aquí abajo sobre esto. Número 3 el juicio se inició por un supuesto abuso doméstico que recibió Amber por parte de Johnny. Sin embargo, en una parte del juicio se llegó a mostrar y a escuchar audios en donde el que habría recibido abuso doméstico habría sido el actor. Él mismo lo dijo. And what did you say in response when Miss Heard said, tell the world, Johnny, tell them Johnny Depp, I, Johnny Depp, a man, I'm a victim to of domestic violence? I said yes. I am. Número 2. En esta parte del juicio escucharemos cómo el abogado de Amber le hace preguntas a Starling Jenkins, guardaespaldas de Johnny Depp, sobre una pelea de la expareja. So, when you arrived at the house and and went and went in, was it just Mr. Depp and Amber Heard? Just Mr. Depp and Amber Heard. Okay. And before there may you... be someone else here. I never visibly seen anyone else. I, okay. I wasn't there long enough to chat. 
to anybody. And, and when you arrived at the house, you could you could hear a ruckus, correct? Yes. Uh, well, yes, I, I could hear enough. Yeah, yeah, I could hear. Def definitely hear something through the the, the, the door. Yeah. But it, it, you said the door was so thick you couldn't hear the actual words that were being said. Is that right? No, just a a, a, a shouting. And then you saw, then you went in the house and saw Mr. Depp in the foyer, correct? Yes, correct. And Mr. Depp was trying to urinate in the foyer, wasn't he? No. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Depp had his penis out of his pants. Objection. Pants, didn't he? I think I would remember. Relevance. Mr. Depp's penis. Uh, I'll know. <laughs> Next question. And you were trying to get Mr. Depp out of the house, correct? Correct, I'm trying to get Mr. Depp out of the house, yes. And Mr. Depp was refusing to leave the house, was he not? Not so much refused, he just wanted two minutes to say peace. You took Mr. Depp's arm to try to move him out, but he broke away, isn't that right? Yes. Okay. I mean, so he was strong enough to break away from your grip, correct? No. So, you had his arm and he broke away though, correct? No. Isn't that what you just said? No, I let him go. You let go. Yes, but it wasn't easy. Boss. It wasn't easy. I'm not easy. going to drag him by. So Mr. Depp's your boss. You'll do what Mr. Depp wants, correct? Número uno. El juicio en curso entre Johnny y Amber ha dado lugar al testimonio de una amplia variedad de personas que estuvieron cerca de la expareja. Recientemente, Alejandro Romero, ex portero del penthouse donde vivían, ofreció su testimonio en donde tocó varios puntos y en uno de ellos dijo que en ningún momento vio a Johnny ser abusivo o violento. Romero de exhibit number one, it's a deposition that you was taken of you on July, back at that time, two months after the incident. Yes, I, do, I remember, because like I said, I was, I always make eye contact with someone that I'm talking to, but I'm not looking to find something like, like, oh, your makeup is wrong, uh, you, you haven't uh, have changed your eyebrows, or your um, eyelashes are not even, or I'm not looking for anything. I'm just looking at their eyes, and I'm looking. I'm not looking for anything else. But if I see something, I will re probably will remember. May 24. Yes. Yep. Not Tuesday. But in fact, you don't recall seeing Amber Heard on May 24th, correct? It's I don't remember. I don't even remember what I got for breakfast. Okay. Este juicio se sigue llevando a cabo en Virginia, Estados Unidos, y pues solo queda esperar para saber qué desenlace tendrá. Comenta aquí abajo cómo crees que terminará todo esto. Ahora sí, sin nada más que decir, nos vemos en el próximo video.